Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Fellow Hot Gaming and more Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, man. All right, you ready to talk to your boy here? Yeah. We are fixing to uh, conclude with the dungeon delving of the Goblin's Camp. What do you need now? Okay. But it seems like you want to uh, talk to this man. I do. So this is good. It says, uh, what do you need now? It says, tell me about your history. How does someone become a vampire exactly? So about last night... <laughs> So do you make, what do you make a Raphael's deal? What's your priority? I think it's better if we say nah. Let's go with so about last night. I've already night. apologized. What more, what do, more you do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. <laughs> Just a warning. Try that again. I'll destroy you. Absolutely not. Well, I'm gonna go with maybe later because this is who my character is romancing. So maybe, but there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. Good. Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave, a vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. <laughs> they won't ever control me again. Okay. How does someone become a vampire exactly is what we're going with next. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. Okay, in theory. So they bite you, you bite them. You'd have to drink Cazador's blood to be free. Free and a true vampire, capable of creating my own coven. Yes. Although, I'd settle for just killing the bastard. I wouldn't be a true vampire, but I'd be free of him. Okay. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. It's grim, either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. I understand the appeal. You're training one master for another. You'll be a slave either way. We have other options, better options. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more. Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. Okay. Which priority okay, right now? The okay, I don't know if it if changed. If we can't understand it, we'll never control it. And I'm not about to hand control of my life from a vampire lord to those slimy grey beasts. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. I just want to know. I had to. I'm a cleric. I had to. Where are you? Whoa. Where where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I wonder. <laughs> what the heck was that? I don't know. Did you have a male voice or a female voice? A male voice. Okay. I had female, so that's where that uh who do you see in your dreams comes from. Ooh, awesome. Because I seen like a pair of boots. I didn't see anything but me laying on the ground. I seen me laying on the ground with a pair of boots right next to me. Well, barely. I guess I didn't pay boot. that didn't pay that close of attention, I guess. Oh my goodness, I'm ready for this. Oh my. Oh my what? This little uh halfling or gnome or whatever this thing was, can't really tell. Oh, it's got a longbow plus one too. But mm. there's a chain shirt plus one. 
Ooh. Scroll of Misty Stuff, Ray of Frost. There's a Temple Trader key, Initiates key. Uh, you can grab that longbow out of my inventory. And I can wear heavy armor, so uh, yeah, I don't need the chain shirt plus one. It's not going to do anything for me because the Githy Yankees are 15. Yeah, you got half plate. The chain shirt's literally the exact same AC as what I'm wearing now. I don't get disadvantage to stealth rolls, but I don't really need that. Send that to camp. If you don't need it, I'm going to send it to camp. That's fine. Because your rogue won't be able to wear it. I don't, can thieves wear medium armor? Mm -hmm. I don't like so. Just, just try. I'll try. I mean, yeah, no disadvantage on stealth checks. Just put your cursor over it while you're selected on Asterion, and it'll say if you're proficient in medium or not. I don't think you are, but... Yeah, no. I didn't think so. Never hard to check. You never know what Larry and Studios has changed. Isn't that the truth? I, I kid you not. There was some scale mail armor on the ground where that bugbear was. The bugbear and the ogre. Mm -hmm. And uh, my ranger could not pick it up with a strength of 10. Like it would not let me pick What'd it up. What'd you say it was again? Scale mail armor. That's dumb. Yeah. Lion says you just want to get for the win. Yeah. So I picked up a trader key off of that little halfling. I'm going to say it's a halfling. Because they apparently don't know the difference between halflings and gnomes. <clears throat> I think it was a halfling. Well, that deep gnome didn't look like a deep gnome. That deep gnome looked like a halfling with gray skin. Yeah. They didn't have the meat of a gnome. Where to now? Well, there's a room that those uh, three non-goblins were guarding. And I picked up a key off of that halfling. Let, let's see, what does it say her race is? Examine. Lightfoot halfling. Okay. And I picked up two keys off of her, actually. And I kind of want to see what this door... Because there's a door right here and it's got a let's lock symbol. Let's do it. Get unlocked. Oh, be careful. Oh, back, 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 back out. What's in here? What's in here? I couldn't see. Uh, smoke powder barrels, fire wine barrels. There's a weird thing on the door over here. Looks like cycles a, of the a moon. chest that's locked over there. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of fire wine in here. Let's be careful in case there's a trap. Just pick all the barrels up. So in the camp? I guess we could. I didn't think about that. I can't believe I didn't. <laughs> that was a good idea, actually. If you desire conversation, please do find someone else. Just in case. I'm proud of you. That was a good idea. <laughs> There's a lot of weapons in this crate. Send to camp. Look, they're like worth. Maybe five gold at a merchant, but hell. Oh, that's money. There is an arrow of acid, an arrow of lightning, and an arrow of ice in this one. Always take every arrow. Special arrow. I mean, hell, if you won't use them, I will Oh my eventually. goodness, all the swords and stuff. Yeah, I just take them. I, I just, if you right click on them while they're in the chest, yeah. you can send them to camp. Crossbow, crossbow. Oh, jeez. We're going to have so much money. Hey, didn't you pick up a bunch of wine and stuff, too? Oh, yeah. I mean, all that jewelry and stuff. <gasps> What's in there? 3,830 gold. You're shitting me. I said that on there. It's fine. I was just... <laughs> I shit you not. <laughs> Look in my inventory. Mm. Oh, wow. I had like 100 gold. We have 4,976 gold now. And we still got to sell everything, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, definitely uh, kill them and well. Oh, okay. Here's because yeah, there was like a mystical chest floating in the air over here, but I see a little platform with a crate on it. I don't see a way to get up to it, but there's a little platform right here without using a jump spell. What is this thing? Yeah, definitely, guys. Make sure you come into this room because that that was a payday. There's got to be a way. Uh, I feel like there's a way to get back. You get what I'm saying? To get what? To get back here, because that looks like the door opens. You know what I'm saying? This has got to open into something. I get what you're saying, but you have dark vision. Hold on, I did pick up, actually. Where's my cantrip? I need to go through here and redo my bar, because yeah, it's been filled with all kinds of crazy stuff. Did I not take... I did take the light cantrip. Let's move these crates out of the way. Was that all that was in there was gold? Yeah. One big lump sum of gold. I don't see anything over here. I'm going over each stone in the wall to make sure there's not a loose pre press plate. I gotcha. I'm sure we would like make checks if there was. Uh, not if it wasn't hidden hidden. Can I just tell you something? What? I cheated. There's nothing behind it. Ah, uh, yeah, I just cheated too. I cheated. Alright, let's. Yeah. Apparently, my crossbow was glowing because I cast light on myself and it put it on my crossbow. I guess so. So I switch. Yeah, it's on my crossbow because I switch. It's not there anymore. You know, when I typically use the light spell, I typically put it on a helmet. <laughs> that way it's not in your face and blinding you. Because if you've ever carried, like, a torch, you carry it above your head. You don't carry it at your eye line. What is this powerful tome over here? Oh, that's that book. It'll follow you since we picked it up. Ooh, I don't like that. Come up, come up here. Poor lad. I got gotcha. you. I could give you peace, you know. But no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. I'm awful bright. Authority. Oh, this looks interesting. Let me put him through this paces. Go have yourselves a drink. Your boss sent me to relieve you. Let's see if I can deceive him. You could ill with him. Look, I'm not using that <laughs> more than I have to because I just got a feeling that if you do overuse that, that's when you game over. Just like I, I, Baldur's Gate 2 if you use the Slayer too much. Game over. I got you. <laughs> Let's see if I can deceive him. <laughs> you never believe what the target is. What? Take, take, take a guess. A one. Natural twenty. Really? A natural twenty. And yeah, I didn't make it. You I'll believe that when I see it. Oh then shut up and watch. Uh.
All right, all right. Let's just, you know, I don't like him torturing this guy. Literally gone. Is it still not there, and it's always there? Yeah. Maybe it's just adding it in all the time. I can help. I doubt that. Get over here and shoot. <laughs> Kill himself trying to run away. Jagged spear. It is green for some reason. Oh, maims target on hit. Yeah, we'll just sell that later. A uh, goblin scimitar, a bone, and some three gold. Uh, the blade of frontier's eye. Oh. This we... dislodged eye of a famous adventurer worth something to the wrong people. That's somebody we're not supposed to yet. I'm not gonna meta game. Okay, I don't know. Um, hey, look at the dude on the rack. Is he lagged on your screen? Does his knees touch his chest? Uh, well, I'm actually looking at him, and his—it's not his knees. <laughs> Well, his feet. Uh, in, his him. legs are curled up as yep. far up as they can go, and then his lower leg is literally flipped all the way around, and the tops of his toes are touching his butt. Yep, that's how mine looks. Yeah. <laughs> he, he. That's definitely a tortured position right there. That's definitely got to cause some pain. Are you talking, talking to, to him? him? Okay. Oh no, I wasn't. I thought you were because you had a bubble on your head. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him. Okay, go for it. No, no. please, oh, don't hurt me. Calm down. I'm here to help. Or that depends on the answer you give me. <laughs> no, calm down. No, please don't hurt me. Are you hurt? You came looking for the night something, didn't you? The druid Halsam was with you. Where is he now? Hang on, I'll get you free. Dexterity pick the lock. The druid. I don't know. He changed and changed into a bear, but I, I lost, I lost sight, of sight of him. I don't know, I don't if, he's know still if he's still alive. Hey. Yeah, I know they they say that. I forget about that. Yeah, I mean he's kind of talking. <laughs> okay. You came looking for the night song, yes. didn't you? He should be here somewhere. They said it was underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned when we arrived. Go on, where can I find it? Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. I, I don't want to die. I will ask. I'm not going to leave you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be patient. I'll be back. Please. Hurry. Uh, switch to the what do you say? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured you were going to switch to the rogue. No. no. Please. Oh, don't hurt me. A simple tumble lock. Make short work of it. <laughs> yeah. 
target's a one. <laughs> I rolled a 15. Yeah, hang on. The lock clicks and open. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. I rolled a three. They need to know they're in danger. <laughs> I've still got my dice sitting over here from our game the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what does the night song do exactly? It, uh, it, it plays music or something. I don't know. The boss didn't say. Okay. Oh, that time I got a nat 20. Well, he just jumped and ran that way. Okay. Okay, well, we gotta go back this way. There's more survivors down there. Uh, Bolo's over here. Stop. Yep. Is that goblin? Uh, he's doing what you think he's doing. Yeah. He's self-repenting. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm fixing to kill him real quick. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> he's only got six hit points. I know. <laughs> Look at the pool of blood underneath him. He must have been That's here for a goblin. hours. That's not a goblin. It's not? Don't no. don't kill him, don't kill him. I feel it. I think he enjoys it. He's a human. He looks rather dark and ominous with his clothing. Yeah, let's let's see what old boy has to say. Click on me. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? You mean the one they're torturing? Please. The things they do to that man. So crude and primitive. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas, pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? I would say, uh... You're nuts, yeah. Cleric, what's a follower of the Maiden of Pain doing here? Ah, you are familiar with the Scourge Mistress. Good. I am simply spreading her message, friend. I worship her through pain, usually my own. But I have a skilled hand when it comes to its infliction. Your hide, your choice. Not quite my cup of tea, though. <laughs> oh, Gail. <laughs> okay, um... It's appalling. Exactly. Pain is an intimate thing. It should be delivered with a loving and measured hand. But trying to discuss such subtleties with these creatures is simply... Forgive me, but... That look in your eyes. Something terrible has happened to you. Something terrible is about to happen to you. Clever man, how did you know? Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish please let me alleviate this pain hang on and how would you do that yeah that's as the maiden of pain the goddess loviata teaches us through penance administered by my skilled hand my work can grant peace and serenity the likes of which 
few experience, it will be worth it. I promise. Oh, jeez. Your hide, your choice. Not quite my cup of tea, though. Yeah, I think they had the voice line maxed out there. Or, uh, mixed, messed up there. Touch me, you will lose your hand. Is, Is that, that a... a promise? Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to my own worship. Well, don't just kill him just because of who he is. No. Why'd you do that? Tyr demanded it. I was rude. No, it wasn't. It was. Tyr demanded it. Lobatar's Scourge. He is a mace, which, uh... More club than Scourge. This weapon has a serrated edge made for drawing long shallow cuts. Resistance to necrotic damage. And you deal an additional 1d8 necrotic to nearby targets, including the wielder. Negative. Ritual Dagger. If you look over here on his table, he's got a couple of uh, magical weapons. You're just going to run off and leave them. I got a po healing a potion, basic uh, poison off that table. Yeah, just... I've seen them too, but I was going to more focus. Hold on, let me read these. Ritual Dagger. This leather handle is smooth with use and slick with fresh blood. The holder of the item gains sacrifice to Lovatar. Bonus action. The Pain Maiden's Blessing. After a successful attack with this dagger, the wielder receives a d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws for one round. Could be useful for your rogue. Yeah. Now listen to the Scourge Mistress's Bane. The Axe. It's chance to inflict the D4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws on target. If the attacker still has 25% or more hit points, they take 1d6 piercing themselves. Yeah, no. I'm not using that. <laughs> but that dagger. Yeah, the blessing. Now, I don't know what the ability that that dagger, the sacrifice to Lovatar is, but... Um... The only bad thing is I can't uh, wield a... Rapier, too. Yeah, which doesn't make sense because, you know, that wasn't even the whole design of a parrying dagger. Still take it, though. That's not what that was for. Nothing in the backpack. Not reading that book. Nothing about the Maiden of Pain interests me. Thank you. Yes, Tyr demanded his death. <laughs> I think we are about done with this video, actually. Oh, are we? Let's see. Yeah, we're just about there. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to leave the rest of it for tomorrow. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah, t look. Tyr just... <laughs> yeah. I heard his voice and I just I couldn't he was just saying murder the poor guy you know, he was saying free the poor soul I can bite you you know I'm just saying I'm not going to but I'm just saying I can bite can you I can shoot you but yeah I so could yeah I could throw an acid flask on you too I could hit you with a guiding bolt if I wanted to don't, I'm just saying. I didn't know if, you know. You'd... How would a vampire like some radiance in their life? I'm good. Okay. Okay. So just stare at the shiny crossbow and let the world fade away. Okay. You didn't see what I did there, did you? No. I see the shiny crossbow. You don't see me pointing it at you? I see it now. I see it now. <laughs> just stare at the shiny crossbow and let it all fade away. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day. <sighs>